Hey, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we've got some casting updates on HBO's The Last of Us series, some Star Wars news, and a certain reptilian headed mercenary is returning to the anime scene with a new season. All this and more in today's Fix. And we finally know who's been cast as Abby in HBO's The Last of Us season two. Now that role goes to actor Caitlin Dever, who you might have seen in 2023 sci-fi horror film, No One Will Save You. Now for the uninitiated, HBO describes the character of Abby as quote, a skilled soldier whose black and white view of the world is challenged as she seeks vengeance for those she loved. Now Abby's the main antagonist in The Last of Us part two, whose motives for revenge might be justified in some folks' eyes given the event that occurred towards the end of season one of the live action series and the final scenes of the first video game. Now, I obviously won't spoil what Abby has done in the video game to a certain character or reveal her connections to the previous season or video game for those who would rather just wait and see for themselves. But let me tell you this, you might come out of this really just hating that character as some did when The Last of Us Part Two was first released. Now, while Caitlin Dever begins bulking up, hitting the gym real hard for the role of Abby, we also have another casting announcement in Jesse. Now, actor Young Mazzino will be stepping into the role of the character. Now, in the video game, Jesse was once friends with Ellie until she scooped in and stole his girlfriend, Dina, away from him. Yeah, now, they're all still cool though, but I'd like to think, you know, a person would feel a certain way seeing their ex-partner with someone you might consider a friend. Who knows? I know it's happened to me. Anyways, yeah, uh, Young will be playing Jesse, and you might remember seeing him in Netflix's award-winning series Beef as the lazy younger brother to Steven Young's character. Now that we have our Abby, when can we expect season two to drop or possibly start filming? Now we already know Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann are hard at work currently adapting season two and have already confirmed that it'll likely take multiple seasons to adapt part two of the video game. But as far as filming is concerned, we might have actually been given a clue from one of the actors of the series, Bella Ramsey. Now she mentioned on the Jonathan Ross show, quote, it will be a while. I think we'll probably shoot at the end of this year, beginning of next. So it'll probably be at the end of 2024, early 2025. Now that quote is actually from 2023. Now season one was filmed in Canada, July 2021 to June 2022, a whole ass year of production so that the series could benefit from the seasonal changes in weather. So if we're looking at a similar timeline as the previous season with Mason and Druckmann still scripting, it's likely we won't see things going to production until later this year, mid 2024. So a 2025 release date for season two is more than likely. In another news, yesterday Lucasfilm and Disney dropped some huge Star Wars news, revealing that Jon Favreau will be directing a Mandalorian and Grogu movie titled, get this, The Mandalorian and Grogu. It's very clever, right? You, you, no one would have thought of that. Now with last summer's dual writers and actor strikes, Hollywood studios have been rearranging their production schedules and it looks like this might be the first Star Wars movie in theaters since 2019's The Rise of Skywalker. Now fans seem mostly stoked that their favorite bounty hunter and Jedi youngling pair are jumping to the big screen. Yay, it's so, so good and happy. But you know, there is some confusion if this movie is in addition to another season of The Mandalorian or if this is the next season. And that's not the only big Star Wars news that dropped. The announcement also revealed that Dave Filoni is hard at work on Ahsoka season two, though no release date just yet has been revealed. And finally, Dodo Hidoro fans have something to be excited about as season two of the cult anime series has finally been announced. Now the first season came out back in 2020 and fans have been impatiently waiting for an update on when to expect the next season. Now four years is a long ass time, but we finally got this announcement accompanied by new key art for the anime featuring Kaiman and Nikaido. Now it looks like there's gonna be plenty more dumplings in the future for our lizard headed protagonist. 
Now we don't have much else on what to expect or when to expect the anime series, but this is just an announcement that it's in production, so it might be a ways away from us actually seeing it. But the series creator, Q Hayashida, will apparently have a major role in the upcoming series, so that's all the excitement we really need for now. All right, that about wraps it up for today's Fix of Entertainment News. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you for joining us. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.